Hi there, I'm reviewing the exposure lights today. Um, I've got three on test. I've got the exposure Toro. I've got the uh, flare light, which is a rechargeable rear light. And also the Diablo, which is a helmet light. The exposure Toro is um, highest capacity. Um, it lasts three hours and it's 975 lumens. Um, the Diablo is the same. Um, however, it only lasts for an hour and it's maximum capacity. Um, and the flare light has a uh, rechargeable battery or disposable battery. On a rechargeable battery, it runs for about three hours on uh, the standard steady light. And on the flashing mode, it runs for about eight. Pretty easy to switch on and off. Uh, a double click on the light turns the light on. One click presses through the, through the modes with a different light setting for each of the powers, with green being the highest, amber being the medium, and red being the lowest power that it has. A quick hold and it goes to a flash mode. Continue to hold and it switches off with a double flash. Right, this is the rear light. Um, this one's the battery operated one. Um, the red eye is powered off the main battery here and then it's used, the, it's controlled via the power switch on here. This one is just a quick turn and goes into the different modes. Turn it off and on again and you'll have a steady stream However, I feel that this mode is better for rear lights. The helmet light works in exactly the same way. Double click to switch on. It also has the, the amber light and the red light for the different power settings. Hold and a quick flash and it switches off. You can get on uh, different attachments for this one. You can get a small version of this which clips on to the rear for your helmet light. Or you can get a micro red eye which is one small LED which also fits into the, into the little power source. That's also where you charge the lights um, on the these two lights um, and they're covered with a little rubber seal. This one um, in the battery form comes with an external charger and each battery is a special little exposure battery. This is the uh, non-rechargeable one but the rechargeable ones just go into a small charger. The lights easily mounted onto a seat pin with a quick release rubber clip no problems at all and then the helmet just screws on with a small allen key bolt and then the light just clips on on top so the exposure Toro light easily attaches to the handlebar you can also get a clip for the Diablo if you want to mount that on the handlebar and it uses this quick release bracket which it just slides on simply and then it's securely fastened The helmet light is especially useful, um, especially for night riding. Um, generally, I don't ride a lot at, at night, so the, the Toro is essential for me for sort of uh, foggy riding in the Peak District. However, this night light, the uh, sorry, the helmet light at night is a, is a godsend, um, enabling you to obviously see where you see where you're looking. Um, like you can in the, in the day and see any hazards that approach you, i.e. drains or anything if you're commuting. So if I was uh, riding at night, I'd definitely uh, consider one of these as an essential piece of equipment. Uh, the lowest settings, um, I'm still not able to look at the camera because I blind, I blind the camera. Give person. us a quick shoe. Uh, <laughs> okay. So, so I found an old light out, which is uh, five LEDs, um, which is made by a different brand. It's maybe a, a year and a half old, so not very old. Um, this one uses four disposable AA batteries and I just wanted to show you the difference in the, the quality of the exposure products. So that's the light on maximum capacity. It also has a flash mode. Um, you can be seen I suppose with this light but to actually see I can probably see about a foot in front of me. However with this light it's a totally different story. I can see all the way down the road on its highest setting and the lowest setting is no different. It's flash mode, 
is easily better than the uh, flash mode on the rival light.